Now, let's go to guest weather in Whitesburg at the Mountain Heritage Festival, sponsored by Highlands Health System. We're here at the Mountain Heritage Day Festival, and it's beautiful weather for the first day of fall, just what the doctor ordered. I'd like to invite everybody to come down and enjoy the festival. We're having beautiful weather. It's very hot, and there's lots of good food. A couple of beautiful weather girls over here. They need to be on the camera, not me, but it is beautiful here at Mountain Heritage. Mountain Heritage Festival on a beautiful Thursday morning. They've got the food booths open, they've got the tents open, they've got a little bit of everything at this festival here in Whitesburg, Kentucky. Hello folks, come on down to the Mountain Heritage, have some fun, sun, good food. Gorgeous weather to kick off the Mountain Heritage Festival. We really couldn't have asked for much better weather. A little bit hot, especially for the first day of fall, but honestly, it's been so nice and sunny that it's okay. It's really just been a really gorgeous day across eastern Kentucky. No rain out there. Pinpoint Doppler still showing nice, clean sweeps on the radar. However, there was a minor earthquake this morning. We had a 2.3 magnitude earthquake just south of Pikeville earlier this morning but those temperatures making their way into the upper 80s across eastern Kentucky, around 10 degrees above average for this time of year. So certainly a very, very warm day in eastern Kentucky, but feeling comfortable thanks to those dew points in the 60s and even some 50s out there. But get this, we, this is actually the 17th day that we have been above average for the month of September. That makes us the second warmest September on record for Jackson, Kentucky. Certainly a very, very warm month so far. Now we have this high pressure system sitting over us, going to keep us nice and quiet and dry over the next several days and actually into the weekend as well. Now, as we head into your Friday, we are going to see dry conditions continuing, hardly any clouds out there. On Saturday over the weekend, this backdoor cold front going to move into our region, but at this point still looking like we are going to stay mostly dry. However, these models do typically have a hard time reading these types of events but so far looking pretty dry this weekend good conditions for the mountain heritage festival for tomorrow kicks off at 10 a.m temperatures are going to range in the 70s in the morning and then as we head into the afternoon another warm one with temperatures hanging out in the mid 80s a few clouds just hanging around but again a warm afternoon for tomorrow very similar situations over in london for the chicken festival also kicking off this weekend slightly warmer of over to the west though throughout the Cumberland Valley. Now for Friday night lights, temperatures are going to range in the 80s around kickoff and then eventually making their way back into the 70s around halftime, dropping down to the mid 70s for the post game. Over the next seven days, we finally start to see the temperatures making their way back closer towards average as we head into next week. On Tuesday, looking like temperatures are going to drop down into the upper 70s across the area. And on Thursday, even some mid 70s out there. So starting to feel a little bit more like fall this time next week. But Steve, the food here has been incredible. And we're going to, I have this nice apple dumpling and uh, the ice cream oh. melted a little bit because it's so hot, but definitely not <laughs> going to stop how good it tastes. Oh, that looks good, Allison. Thank you very much. And of course, the apple dumplings are uh, over at the Apple Festival. That's coming up in a few weeks over in Johnson County.